Razo saw death and suffering when he was here in the desert of Orsi, volunteering with the Swedish Red Cross during the Great Famine of the early 1970s. He reflects upon the great ecological and social disruptions which have shaken the foundation and modified forever the lives of the people of Burkina. Autour des années 1970-1975, s'est installé au Burkina Faso un phénomène sans précédent. Un phénomène qui a engendré une longue période de famine pendant laquelle des hommes, des femmes, des enfants ont perdu toute leur dignité. Around the years 1970 to 1975, an unprecedented phenomenon settled in Burkina Faso, a phenomenon that engendered a long period of famine during which men, women and children all lost their dignity. During which we saw men and women fight for a morsel of bread during which we saw men and women fight against their own children to save themselves. That was hard. That was very hard. The vegetation had progressively disappeared with the advance of the desert. People had been forced to abandon their villages. Tragedy struck the heart of families. People were obliged to leave their own land in exile, to migrate to other lands. That was a difficult period and very trying for Burkina Faso. One again sees images of airplanes that parachuted food. Food coming to save the men and women fell on them and killed them as they ran under the planes in desperation, hoping to get the food. Just next to the dead, men and women divided the food and ignored the dead. During the long periods, we saw people hiding food. We saw people gathering up their own vomit to eat it again because they had no other hope. Nous avons vu le bétail se décimer, les arbres mourir. Voyez tout autour de vous ici. We saw livestock perish, trees die. Look around here. You see how the desert advances. You see what caused the tragedy. It was very hard and very trying for the Burkinabe people. But since then, the men and the women of the country have organized to take control of their lives. They have decided to fight against the climatic hazards, against erosion, against the advance of the desert. They have decided to organize for the amelioration of their conditions of existence by simply changing their mentality. It was a hard but fertile period because it encouraged people to accept new ideas, to develop initiatives for survival, initiatives to improve their lives. I believe the people of today merit our admiration. <laughs> 